Hey, sexy people. All right, this is for my gold diggers. That's gold. But if you're a gold digger too, that's cool. We all family here. No judgment. Don't knock the hustle. <laughs> All right, lady bosses, girl bosses, whatever you want to call yourself, you are raking it in and you want to make sure that, you know, it keeps growing and growing and growing. Well, stay tuned. If you don't have a finance degree or a long bottom, the third is a grandfather to help you figure it out. I have nothing but tips upon tips upon tips to help you become the richest woman in Babylon. Okay, stick around. Welcome back. Tasha Caulfield here, writer, comedian, and author of The Care and Feeding of Sex Symbols, here once again for us smart and sexy, pretty messes to help us feel more loved, secure, and on top of our world. All right, so let's get the boring stuff out of the way first. We are going to want to make sure we pay our bills, okay? We got to keep our nuts small, and by nuts, well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got too many jokes for that. This is like my 10th take because I laughed and giggled and made jokes every other time I said nut and I want to try to keep this video short, okay? So you nut meaning your financial obligations small, you know, your overhead, your rent and all that kind of stuff. You want to keep that as small as you can so you have a lot more freedom to take a lot more financial risks in other areas. So, you know, we're getting those paid off to make sure our credit stays good. We're paying our credit card bill off every month. You know, if you don't have it, don't spend it. The only reason why we're using our credit cards is to build our credit and to take advantage of, you know, the perks that it offers like travel or cash back and things like that. Outside of that, you know, let other people make the credit card companies money. You're just using it to benefit you. And then there's the other debts. Any other debts you owe, whether it's student loans or car notes or whatever, we are making sure that we have as few obligations as possible. So pay those off as quick as you can. You wanna be as debt free as you can. I recommend buying a car with a used car with cash. You know, you wanna let somebody else drive it off the lot brand new to take that deep dive in the value of it. Um, so, it, you know, it's less. So, you know, at least a year or two old for a used car. You know, and also just consider your options there. Maybe public transportation makes more sense in your city. Maybe Ubering if you don't drive that much. Maybe that offsets the cost of car ownership, whether you are, um, you know, having to pay for insurance and registration and gas and all that kind of stuff and repairs. Like, do the math and see what makes the most sense and we figure it out from there. But like I said, we're keeping our financial obligations as small as possible. And then we're also paying taxes. Yes, taxes, taxes, <laughs> taxes. Um, yeah, we're paying taxes. All right, I don't even wanna go into the re repercussions of not paying taxes. They're too depressing to think about. You don't want that. You don't go to jail. You don't wanna, you know, the interest that's thrown on top of the back taxes that would be owed and all that kind of stuff. So we're paying that the more tax, the more money you make, the more taxes you have to pay. So you could think about it that way. Um, you know, it is what it is, but we're, we don't want to owe anything to the man, you know, in any sort of way. We want as much freedom financially as we can handle. Now, a lot of us also with our basic necessities, we do have to really make sure we're indulging in a beauty products, hair, makeup, you know, clothes and all that kind of stuff, you know, quality food, gym memberships and everything like that. I get it. So yes, you, we want to be investing in ourselves in that way. Um, if it's tied to your income potential, absolutely. But just make sure you're not getting your luxuries confused with your necessities. Style is a way, you know, bigger deal than name brands and designer stuff. Okay. So, you know, we are in our building years. We, and we'll get into luxuries later, but um, we are in our building year. So we want to keep in mind that if it's a depreciating asset, meaning that if it loses its value over time, we don't want to give it too much of our attention off the bat. Like these are not the first things that we should be putting our money towards only appreciating assets like, you know, we'll go into that too, which, and which are things that gain value over time. So you know, toe that line and find deals, but you, you know, 
make sure you're not really over doing it with the luxuries just yet and i'll tell you when we could do that though okay all right so after we have taken care of our financial obligations to others the first thing we want to do with our money is pay ourselves first 10 percent at least of your monthly income should be going into your savings um, you know, a lot of experts recommend about nine months worth of money saved up as far as, you know, what you need to survive or whatever, or your current salary. Um, I like to go more with a year because, you know, a lot of us are in, you know, different types of industries or work that are just, it might not be as like easy to just go out there and get another situation or job or whatever. So, you know, you want to have a a good cushion and you also want to be prepared for emergencies you know whether it's health wise or car wise or whatever things break down you know in around your house around you know your body <laughs> around your car every like stuff will happen and in addition to that regular savings you want to have um, you know, some stuff saved up for retirement. I don't know what retirement plan, if you work with a company, maybe they have a 401k or something. Um, you know, maybe you're interested in IRAs on your own, like Roth IRA, Roth IRAs or things like that. Um, I'll go a little bit more into this when we talk about investing, but yeah, you're going to want to also think about your retirement plan in addition to your regular savings. All right. So now that we've taken care of our obligations to others and our obligations to ourselves and, you know, we are in a sustainable realm, we are in a position to do things that will help us grow, you know, in our money. And the first thing I think that we should be investing in in that regard is our education. All right, this is where we're getting certifications for things that'll increase our income potential, whether it's real estate or insurance or, you know, nursing or whatever. Like you want to put yourself in a position to have as many options and opportunities as you can to, you know, not have to worry about how you're going to make money. And then in, in addition to those type of formal educations, traveling, travel the world, like some people put that under luxuries. I'm putting it under education because it is so important to know about the world around you as far as increasing your value to be able to serve others and to also learn more about yourself in relation to others. And in that regard, I also want to add to learn about yourself. Um, you know, study books and go to lectures and go to therapy, whatever, study psychology, sociology, philo you know, philosophy, religion, spirituality, whatever, linguistics, all sorts of things that get you to understand yourself and the world around you invaluable. No one can take this away from you. No one can repo your knowledge and it'll just, and it stays with you and it makes you more valuable as a person. So we are investing in our education. We are also getting a little bit more um, risky with our retirement options. We're including, you know, stuff on top of just the basic savings and the 401ks and the Roths and all that kind of stuff. We are delving into the world of investments. We are young now, so we can rebound easier, so we can be riskier with what we're doing. With that said, Remember that the purpose of investing is for peace of mind. So if you don't understand what's going on, if you don't understand it, either do everything you can to learn about it or just don't go there at all. You know, whether it's stocks or real estate or art or Bitcoin or whatever, you know, it is like make sure you have a good, comfortable, you know, level like feeling around it and you know enough about it to go there or make sure you really really trust your advisors because um if you don't have peace of mind there it's it's gonna be for nothing i've seen i've seen it just destroy people who um had no idea what was going on with their money um so yeah make sure you are educating yourself about the type of investments that you're taking and and take them, you know, understand your risk level, do it according to your risk tolerance, but definitely invest there. Okay, so we're taking care of, our future is looking a little bit more secure, and we are in a position to give back. Yes, as Maya Angelou said, you can't go through life with two catchers mitts on. You know, you gotta throw something back. So 
at least 10% of what you make should be going towards people that are in need. You know, for some of you, it could be tithing at church. For others, it's um, just whatever charity speaks to you, whoever you want to help, however, you know, they can use that, do that. You know, when it comes to even tipping, as Jim Rohn said, you know, the highest number you can think of, give that because you want to stay in a, you know, mindset of abundance too, not a lack mindset. You want to know that you have more than you need and you can help others as a result. That'll help just energetically keep stuff coming to you. So we are giving back and we are, you know, doing it in a mindset, in a mind state of abundance. And finally, after we have secured ourselves and our future and, you know, it helps others around us, we can start really playing, like really playing. And, you know, if you got any business ideas or ventures or whatever that you want to explore, this is the time to do it. Go ahead, take those risks. You want to invest in someone else's business or something like one of their ideas go ahead do that you know make sure it's on the level if they're promising more than 10 percent or so you really want to you know investigate it have someone else investigate it talk to some financial advisors have them investigate it at times even if you know them um you know because people get desperate and do crazy things and now you're getting into like excessive returns um you know over 10 percent when people are promising you that like this is this is unique this is special it's possible you know there are of course plenty of situations where you know people blow things out of the water and you can ride that wave but a lot of times it's not really on the level so make sure you know you're also being cautious with what you invest in if it's somebody else's stuff and also even if it's your own stuff you know now one of the things i love about youtube is you got all these people who are willing to experiment with with um, business ideas and take you on that journey with you so they can save you some time and money if you just like look at like okay you know i was thinking about starting this business and this person will show you all of the pitfalls that they went through on it all. so you can like do that and decide if it's really for you so that's another one and then when it comes to playing here is where you get to the luxuries as well this is where you get your fancy new car or your diamonds or you know your new booty if that's what you've been waiting for if you like to gamble if you like to um you know go on 400 plus spa days or you know the swanky nights out where you're spending hundreds of dollars like this is where you do it like this is when you do it you've done the best you can to secure yourself for now and in the future you've helped others and you know you got to have fun you got to live your life otherwise what are you working for you don't know if you're going to be around tomorrow like so you know all we can do is do our best to to you know support our potential future self but you got to have fun enjoy your life live it go out there bask in it you earned it okay all right and like this video and subscribe and hit the notification bell and until next time this is tasha caulfield reminding you to stay sexy